Good morning. Good morning. Uh, today is Sunday, June 24, 2012. I'm speaking with Professor uh, Mondol, uh, Chittaranjan Mondol. Um, this interview, interview is being conducted in New York City. Professor Mondol, um, tell me what's your desk? Uh, my day, my country is Bangladesh. Okay. I am from a remote village of Prishpur. Prishpur is a district. And my village name is Juskola. Juskola. Yes. Juskola. Now it is six miles uh, north of Prishpur district town. Six miles north of Pirajpur. Towards Prishpur it goes town. towards Najipur in that direction. Towards Najipur. Okay. And now how big is that village? Uh, this is a large village. And almost uh, uh, ten to twelve thousand people live, 12, 000. live in this village. Okay. And sixty uh, percent of the total population are Muslims. Okay. Forty percent Hindus. Hindus. Okay. And just uh, it was the reverse case mm. in the year nineteen forty-seven. Mm. That is at the time of partition. Mm -hmm. At that time, Hindu population was sixty percent and Muslim population was forty yes. percent. Okay. They were the majority and and. Now it is reverse. Reverse. Okay. And now, um, how far is it from Pirajpur town? Six miles distance. So how did you, did you used to go? Uh, by bus. By bus. And is it on the road itself, the village, or you had it, to? It, 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 the road um, moves through the village. Moves through the village. Okay. So um, now, how was your house like? Uh, it is a very a small house. Corrugated iron sheet. Okay. Uh, on the side or on the on the roof? Uh, roof. 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 Uh, and uh, uh, the uh, house is built of wood. Wood. Okay. Yeah. Um, how many generations your family lived there? Uh, one to two generations. One to two generations. Yes, my uh, father and I. Okay. Then before that, where they moved from? Uh, mm -hmm. We moved from on a Charkhali, a, a remote village of Najipur. Uh, oh, yes. but 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 that's also in Pirajpur. In Pirajpur. They, they moved there. Yeah. Now, uh, what was the profession of your father? Uh, my father was a cultivator. Okay, and your mother? Mother was a housewife. Now, uh, their name? Uh, my father's name Mohanrath Mandol. Okay. And my mother's name Maharani Mandol. Maharani Mandol. Now, but, how many brothers and sisters you were, or, uh, or your uncles are also living in that house? Uh, no. So you uh, at the time of partition, hmm. uh, I have uh, four uncles. Mm -hmm. They left Bangladesh, mm -hmm. and uh, some uh, that is uh, they are living somewhere in India. Okay, I don't know okay. where you know, they are. Do you know why did they live? Uh, and why did not at, your at father? The, that is at the time of partition. That is in the year 1946. Mm -hmm. There was riot. Yeah, and uh, there was communal conflict mm -hmm. all over um, India, mm. that is for fear of that, mm. perhaps they left Bangladesh. Okay. My father, uh, he has no ability, that is why he stay in Bangladesh. Okay. So, but he, but he has done very well, he educated you being, making a professor and all that. Yes. Uh, that's very nice. Um, do you know of any other relations of yours who have left uh, Bangladesh to go to India? But of course all of your uncles have left. Yes, uh, no, uh, uh, other, no, um, uh, my close relatives, hmm. nobody left. So they are there, except, yeah. but of course the uncles are your close too, but yes. they, are, they have gone. Yes. Um, uh, now you mentioned that there were, there, were, there were riots, have you seen any through your own eyes? Uh, I conflict? experienced, that is at the time of partition in India, I was a very uh, little boy, maybe uh, three, um, four, five or six years mm -hmm. old. Mm -hmm. uh, I cannot recollect, no. but I... But afterwards, were there afterwards, any... Afterwards, in the year 1964, I experienced that riot really? How, in uh, Dhaka. At Dhaka? that time, I was a student of Dhaka University, mm -hmm. and uh, at that time, in the year 1964, at the end of the year, maybe in the month of uh, December, mm -hmm. uh, 
and early January. There was yes. a uh, a riot that is riot. No, it's a, it's, it's a and one sided one sided. One -sided. One -sided. One -sided. Uh, that is Adumji Adumji laborers hmm. have been set free hmm. and uh, they jumped up on the minority communities. Yeah. yeah. That was instigated by the government, the government okay. of Pakistan. Okay. That is, uh, there was uh, a movement against the Pakistani government mm -hmm. by the Bangladeshi people, mm -hmm. led by Sheikh Mujibur Rahman. And to suppress that movement, mm -hmm. Pakistan government initiated this riot. Riot against Hindus? Against Hindus. And uh, what, what, did you see any killing, any injury? Yes, a lot of killing. We have, uh, at that time I was, uh, I was stranded in the um, uh, Jagannath Hall. Okay. A lot of people from the outskirts of Dhaka city mm -hmm. uh, had been victimized mm -hmm. and they came to take shelter mm -hmm. in Jagannath Hall. Oh, oh. At that time, Rashad Khan Manan was the VP of Datsu mm -hmm. and Motiya Choudhury was GS. Mm -hmm. Rashad Khan Menon, uh, uh, that is, with uh, uh, other students of the Raka University, mm -hmm. they called on our um, um, Jagannath Hall mm -hmm. and uh, they said us. Mm -hmm. Later on, Bangabandhu Sheikh Moji, at that time he was not Bangabandhu, yeah. but uh, Mojibur Rahman, he came to our um, um, uh, hall mm -hmm. and uh, she, uh, he, um, uh, he, uh, uh, saw uh, our sufferings in his own eyes mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and he warned the Pakistan government that if you don't uh, stop rioting, we shall, uh, mm -hmm. we shall face you. Okay, but, uh, there, were, uh, but there, there were many, many people killed. Many uh, people killed, okay. many people killed. Uh, now, uh, so you grew up, you were growing up, uh, so uh, what happened in 65? 65 there was a riot. Well, not right. There was in the India-Pakistan war. Yes. Were you affected? Uh, no, directly we were not affected. But later on, at that time, Pakistan government promulgated an ordinance that is Enemy Property Act. Mm -hmm. And uh, after um, uh, that is after the um, uh, it is 65 war, mm -hmm. we have been affected and still mm. we are being victimized of this law. Is it, is it only people like you Hindus or is the Muslims also victimized? Uh, some of the Muslims also victimized. By through enemy property act? Uh, yes, because uh, some of the Muslims they bought minority property of minority community. Mm -hmm. Later on it was found that this property has been Declared enemy property. Oh, but that's a and different that is, one. That is, but but but, uh, but 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 what I mean was Muslims' property declared enemy property. No. no. Okay. Um, now, uh, and what about what about seventy one? If you is down the road, it came seventy one. Uh, what what, what the, happened in seventy one? In the year seventy one, the non-Muslims are mm, all the non-Muslims have, have been victimized. Mm -hmm. uh, if the Pakistani army and uh, their collaborators, that is Rajaikar and al Badr al sams whenever they see the Hindus, mm -hmm. they kill them, mm -hmm. shoot them. It's, it's just uh, like that? Yes. Even in And even in uh, Hindus, uh, mm, that is uh, houses of Hindu family, mm -hmm. uh, burned into ashes. Really? Have Some you seen of, any for yourself? Yes, yes, I have seen. One, at one time, I was, I had been ambushed by the uh, Pak Army. Okay, Pakistan Army. Pak Army. Yeah. And uh, I hide myself in the uh, paddy field. Paddy, okay. Uh, in that paddy field, a lot of Hindus uh, hide themselves. Mm -hmm. The Pak Army, Pak Army moved there mm -hmm. and uh, shoot them, uh, some of um, that is almost uh, 117 people have been killed that there. Many? Yeah, it was, well, but luckily, okay. but luckily, 
at the that is at evening uh, that is there is heavy rain okay and due to the heavy rain the pak army um, moved back oh, okay why was that is why i was saved say, okay otherwise i uh, i could have been killed there oh my gosh why was it what uh, you know the it, name of the place uh, nearby yes. it is it is uh, it is under uh, shorkot is yes okay uh, the place is soilabunia soilabunia yes yeah. shorkari police station shorkari police. police station okay no, i have been to shorkari myself okay. um so uh, so how did you survive i mean uh, you hid and then they were killing killing there, there were 117 people who were yeah. killed shorkabunia um and then then when did you get up when did you realize that you are safe uh that is uh, whenever uh, we realized that the pak army have moved okay then uh, we get up and uh, at that time my uh, my elder son mm. first i i was looking for my elder son yeah. and my wife yeah uh, they were also my, my uh, father in his in law's house mm. is there okay uh, i moved to there and i see my father in law has a big house mm. big very very big house mm. and uh, uh, i i went there and i saw that uh, the big house has been burned into ashes really? yes oh my and i and so lebonia so lebonia okay and i came to know that one of my relative there he was ordered by pak army to pick up coconuts mm-hmm. whenever he uh, picked up coconuts mm-hmm. and coming down on that position uh, pak army shot him oh mm. this brutal killing they did what what was name of your of that boy do biren 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 and what's the name of your father in law my father in law brajanath bapari brajanath bapari he is still uh, living ok he still lives in shalabunia he still lives in shalabunia oh, very nice um anything else you recall during 71 what did you stay what did your family stay they lived in your uh, village or did no no uh, for some time so we lived uh, in my father in law's house mm-hmm. then we moved to india moved to where where in india uh, we lived in um mm. in 24 pargonas are not there some in, in the border uh, area no or in tripura 24 24 no. how did you get there do you remember it was not easy for you to go uh, from pirajpur we 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 get there on foot on foot yeah. how many days i took at least 3 uh, or 4 days 3 4 days and, mm. and and during the period of uh, during rainy period yeah. so you wait also mm-hmm. so but you cross the rivers through boats and ferries right yes ferries and so when uh, who else did you did, did go with you uh my wife my sister mm-hmm. my mother mm-hmm. my son okay mm. and what what about your in-laws your your father in law their family they stayed in shilabuni they stayed in shilabuni okay okay um and how long did you stay in india as a refugee uh maybe 6 or 7 months 7 months yes uh did you live in a camp or you live with no. a family with a village i live in a that is rented house rented house mm-hmm. uh in okay uh, and who rented it for you uh i worked there okay so that is i worked for um um what for sharnarthi or refugee refugee, 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 refugee camp in area refugee okay. camp okay. and uh, i worked as a teacher in refugee camp okay mm. all right so um is there was there any other incidents you recall besides shalabunia besides your own village your house was burned down or was it no it is it, it is but it was abandoned because, no it is it is safe to because one of my friend muslim friend mm. Uh, his name is Saidur Rahman. Mm-hmm. He was uh, the principal of the college, mm-hmm. n- now retired. Mm-hmm. He take care of my house. Mm-hmm. He take care of my family, and mm-hmm. that is property. Mm-hmm. 
and his father was a very nice man. Mm -hmm. His name was uh, Abdul Goni mm -hmm. mm. They took care of my yeah. everything. Uh, so were you already so professor I, there? I, at the, at the, at yes. The, at, uh, at Pirojpur College, right? At Pirojpur College. Okay. So that was the connection that saved your yes. building. Yes. Um, uh, when did you, besides those two, were there any other incidents that you saw or witnessed killing? Um, no, that is um, on way to Bang uh, India. Mm -hmm. We we saw a lot of dead bodies yeah. floating on uh, that is on water, oh. mm. okay. and some dead bodies thrown by the side of the road. Oh, is that bad? Mm. That's yes, bad. This we have uh, seen. So now let me go back to you as a Hindu minority, growing growing up either in Pirojpur or in Dhaka. Did you ever feel that you are minority? Uh, my case is a little bit exceptional because I served as a professor. Mm -hmm. But before so, professor, I mean before when you were a student in Dhaka or no, when it was I, high school? I, that is when I was a student of Dhaka University. At that time Dhaka University uh, was a, that is, uh, uh, there was a secular environment mm -hmm. and uh, nobody feel mm -hmm. that we are Hindus, we are Muslim, mm -hmm. Muslims, mm -hmm. nobody feels such. Okay. That is, uh, they are the student of the Dhaka University. Okay. That they felt, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, during my uh, student life, I did not feel it. Mm -hmm. uh, so long I was in Dhaka University, okay. and after um, finishing my education, whenever I start my profession, at that time, uh, I was uh, I was uh, as a respected man of my locality. Okay, okay, so yeah. everybody yeah. everybody helped me okay. and everybody respect me. Mm -hmm. mm. What, 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 what was your spell? Uh, what, what did you teach or what did you spell? specialize? Uh, accounting. Accounting. Very good. Um, let me ask you, we have, you know, have you ever thought why minority Muslims in West Bengal which is Hindu majority, is they have been able to stay, but why Hindus were minority and Muslim majority Bangladesh couldn't stay? This is simply political reason. Okay. In West Bengal, that is Indian government and Indian political parties, Indian politics, have been able to create an environment uh, that is where everybody can live mm -hmm. and uh, where everybody can enjoy equal rights. Okay. There is secular environment, mm -hmm. but in Bangladesh, there is no secular environment. It is, it has been polluted by the politicians. Mm -hmm. It has been polluted by the poli political parties. Okay. After the demise of Sheikh Mujib, mm -hmm. separate, different trend of politics has been started in Bangladesh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which can be compared with Pakistani trend. Oh, I see. Sheikh Mujib happens to be the founding father of Bangladesh. Founding father of Bangladesh. Bangladesh. And just starting uh, this type of politics, they have created all these problems. Mm -hmm. now, now, now we, the Hindus, we cannot think that we are a part of the nation. Okay. We cannot think. Okay. Um, um, so what can be done to, to reverse it? This is a... <laughs> All right, I mean, if you have not... Uh, that is, of... This should be... Uh, we fought for Bangladesh. Mm -hmm. Just... Uh, just uh, to establish... establish, establish a nation, nation mm -hmm. on the basis of language. Language and secularism. Language, and, language and secularism. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the political parties, mm -hmm. which this idea has, that is, this idea has been uh, thrown out mm -hmm. by, by, by the political parties, mm -hmm. those political parties should be banned. Okay. Okay. Um, they should not be allowed to do any politics in Bangladesh. Okay. 
Uh, have you ever thought, did anybody benefit because of partition of Bengal? No. Neither I, I, Bengal I think, or is Bengal I think Hindus and not Muslims? On, not only partition of Bengal, I think the partition of India mm -hmm. created all these miseries. Okay. That is partition of India, it was done for the benefit of the Muslims. Mm -hmm. Even the Muslims were not benefited. Okay. That is, Indian subcontinent Muslims have been split. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They, have, they have become three nations now. Yeah. Yeah. India, Pakistan and Bangladesh. Yeah. Yeah. They have been split. Yeah. I think they, have, they were not benefited yeah. at all. Now, um, since you have been to West Bengal, where you, did you feel discriminated or neglected because you came from Bangladesh? No, I, I was a refugee only. I was a refugee only and I, I did not uh, feel us. Yeah, okay. I'm almost to the end. Do you think can Hindus and Muslims live together? Yes, I think so. Because okay because of the fact the faith is not a problem the hindus and muslims these people came from the same origin mm -hmm. that is mixed nation mixed bengali nation mm -hmm. that is some of the bengalis people have been converted into muslim mm -hmm. some of the bengali people have been converted into hindus now they are from the same origin. Mm. They have the tradition to live uh, in peace. Okay. That is, the, there is the peaceful coexistence. Mm. They can live, All but right. this has been exploited by the failure politics, by the corrupt politician, by the canning politicians. Okay, I'm almost to the end. Is there anything else you'd like to add that I didn't ask? Uh, I think. Maybe. There is a great problem in Bang for Bangladesh because of the two trends of politic pol politics are there. There may be a great tussle mm -hmm. between these two types of two trends of politics, and for this reason, we the minorities communities, we may have to suffer mass in future. But but we have already come down to from one-third to ten percent, how much suffering can you do? Yes. Suffering, so that is, maybe, there may be mass killing. But, but it does already happen. Why Hindus? Yeah. Hindus haven't done anything to, for, 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 for being killed. Uh, Hindus, uh, because Hindus are a poor section of the community, no, no, that, is why, that is why okay. they will suffer more. Okay. Mm. All right. Thank you very much. Okay. Appreciate it.